and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to the vlog so i went shopping last weekend which is another video i have coming up for you most likely next week if i am well enough to film it but whilst i was out shopping i decided to get an ms advent calendar the beauty advent calendar now i do love a beauty advent calendar every year and I try not to buy too many of them because I don't like being wasteful but I figured I'd get quite a bit of use out of this one just because I can put all my nail stuff I think in the uh, in the casing for it so I went with this one it says that it's supposed to be worth over £340 if you spend £35 more on clothes beauty or homeware I think you can purchase this for £45 so that's what I did I have no idea what's in it um, but I know that M&S always for me have been pretty good quality and well worth the money so good value for money let's open it up and see what's in here I have no idea I don't know how it's packaged but it feels like it might be in boxes but let's give it a whirl so it's a really cute uh, gold rose gold zip copper coloured zip let's open it up and see there we are boxes so that's really cool and we have got is it 24 boxes yeah, 24 boxes, not 25. Uh, let's open it up and have a look. So here we go. Box number one, make it pop. Let's see what's in here. Feels like it might be an eye pencil or a lip liner. No, I'm wrong. It is a Clinique lipstick. So that is, what shade does that say that is? Uh, Bear Pop 02 is the colour and let's have a look and do a swatch on the hand and it comes out like this kind of pinky nudey colour that's actually really pretty so I don't know whether that's going to catch the light or not but that's really pretty I do like that so that's number one what have we got for number two so let your hair do the talking I do like the way it gives you a little glimpse maybe is in as to what's in the uh what's it in it i don't even open this one okay okay volumizing no oil oil serum volumescent uh so here we have it is from percy and reed so it's quite a well-known brand um, I'll just show you just in case it's glowing there. So let's have a look. Turn up the volume. I don't normally need any um, help with <laughs> volumizing my hair. Seems as it's quite thick. Uh, but let's see. What does it smell like? Kind of smells minty almost. <laughs> maybe that's wrong. Minty and a bit of floral maybe in it. Um, but yeah, so what does it say? Directions, dispense a small amount onto the hands, adjusting the amount to suit the hair length and texture and work through towel dried hair from your roots to tips using your fingers. Comb through, dry and style is normal. So yeah, I don't know what the texture is, but let's have a look. I think it's probably just going to be like a gel. Yeah, so it's kind of like a serum and i really should have planned this better and had some tissues in here with me but i don't have them so uh yeah it's kind of like a not really minty actually it is more a really kind of a light serum but that doesn't feel too bad on the hands actually i know it's obviously not meant to designed for the hands but there we go and uh, let's go for number three Okay, so what does this one? Oh, there is nothing on this one, just says three. Uh, okay, I think this, the Nooks, what is this one? Multi-purpose dry oil face, body and hair. So I have got one of these, I think from a kit a while ago now. Um, it's a bit weird that they put two kind of like hair products, but I guess this isn't isn't just hair, it's multi-purpose as well. But I'm not really a massive oil kind of person and it 
smells fairly floral it seems to be a fairly similar scent to the no oil oil so yeah that's number three let's have a look for number four okay mood bright and beautiful very Christmassy themed Ah, okay, so Murad Essential C Day Moisture Broad Serum SPF 30. Now, I really do value Murad's um, products. Uh, it looks like this is part of a step program, so this is to moisturize and protect. Like I say, I really do like Murad. Murad. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I like their products though. I've had some of them before. So let's see if this, with this being um, vitamin C, whether it smells kind of orangey or not, because some of them do. Can't really tell because it's got the top on there, but I'm not really getting a smell of that at the moment, but I'm not going to open it just yet. Okay, number five is alive. Okay, party season approved. Have a look. Looks like it could be a mascara or something of that ilk. No? Maybe not. This is a uh, lip glossy lip maximizer. Okay, so that looks like it's in a quite a nice colour. Um, who is it made by this one? I don't know. But sheer rose. Okay, so that's what it's coming up like. Let's try it on the back of the hand. Let's try it above the other one. Oh, that's a lovely colour. Do you like that? I'm not normally one for lip glosses, but that's really, really nice. Actually, it's quite uh, a nudish tone, but it's got kind of like a pinky and purple. Very apt for today. So, yeah, that's really nice. I like that. I will definitely get some use out of that. Okay, so let's try number six. Here we go. Big one in the middle, number six. No giveaway on what this one is. Okay, right. The this is the this works deep sleep body cocoon. So a multitasking beauty sleep savior for better nights and brighter mornings. So uh, yeah, that's what we have here. So use nightly after bathing and before bedtime to restore and nourish your skin whilst you sleep. Very nice. Let's see if it smells kind of lavender like yep kind of lavender like but not like really really overpowering that's quite a nice one so uh, i know i do struggle to sleep so i'm hoping that this might help i have tried these things from before and i know it says it's from this works but i have tried their deep pillow spray before and that doesn't work on me so i don't know whether this will work but i will give it a whirl Number seven, where are you? Here we are. So, number seven. Again, there isn't anything on this one to give me any idea of what it is. Uh, oh, okay. So, this will be a nail varnish, I believe. Yeah, because nails ink, crown place. So, it's a real nice shimmery, goldy colour. I won't be putting that on because I've got my nails on already. But just so you can see the texture, like any kind of normal nail varnish. I wouldn't necessarily use that because I do gel nails now. So it is nice, but it does have that very pongy smell that you get from nail varnishes. Um, all right, number eight. Ooh, okay, this is a weird shaped box. Again, doesn't give you any ideas, but I'm guessing it's weird shape because it's designed to fit in here. Uh, right, okay, it's another cream of some sort. So, Philip Kingsley Elasticizer Booster. So, restoring conditioner. So, this is going to be another hair product. Yeah. Which I may well give a go. Um, I can't really smell anything. 
not too heavily scented so if you're not a fan of stuff that's heavily scented then you know you might want to give this one a go and i certainly need some help with my hair especially after i have colored it so much over the years so that is number eight right number nine in the same shape box because it's just on the opposite side okay another cream uh hydra hyal god serum hydrant so yeah hydrating plumping serum here we are so i'm guessing this is for your face um let's see if they've got anything on it mm, that does have a scent but i can't quite put my finger on what that scent is more fruity i would say so yeah, so it's another hydrating serum. I'll see whether or not it's actually a serum or a cream. No, that is a serum definitely because it's clear. So let's try that on the back there. It's quite cooling actually when you put it on. Okay, let's try number 10. Okay, what's this? Okay, so Pixie by Petra Brow Tamer. Definitely need some of that. I seriously need to go and get my brows done anyway. So, so clear brow gel. I really do like Pixie's um, range. Okay, so it's not a huge bottle, but don't need brow gel to really be that huge do we and here we go let's take this out yep so it's kind of a tapered edge on it not too wet but let's try now obviously i can't tell what that's looking like on here but it does feel quite nice not too not too wet again doesn't really have a scent but yeah we'll see how that's looking at the end of the video but yeah feels nice Okay, right, that was 10. Where is 11? Here we are. Oh, big box this time. So, your daily dose of hydration. So, that feels like quite a big box for what it actually is. So, it's going to be another skincare product. Let's have a look. And you do get £7 off Formula Sleep and Replenish Ultimate Sleep Cream. That's the voucher that's come in it, so there we go. Um, is this the same product? Clinique Clean, so it's another Clinique product. Clinique Moisture Serve, so 100 hour auto replenishing hydrator. So I have loads of these Clinique things and I have loads of these moisture surges. And to be honest, <laughs> I never really get through them. There's quite a few there I have. So, yeah, it's in the normal kind of pinky colour. And it has the usual kind of Clinique smell. If you know, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure I would necessarily use that because I've got so many already that I don't use. Okay, number 12. So, start with a spritz. So, maybe this is perfume. Yep, Shea and Blue Boutique Poo Perfumery Natural Spray. So there we go here. Right, okay. I'm a bit funny with perfume, so I tend to like to know what they smell like first. But here we go. This is what it looks like. Let's have a spray. Mm, not bad. It's kind of like a bit citrusy and a bit musky at the same time. It's quite nice actually as perfumes go and I am quite picky with my perfume so that might be quite a nice one to go for it but it certainly packs a punch when you first spray it. Mm, I do like that actually, that's really growing on me. Mm. Okay, number 13, here we go. 
No subliminal messaging on this one. Okay, so this is a Vida Botanical Repair Bond Building Styling Cream. So obviously for your hair, again, I don't tend to use creams in my hair because I think it makes them feel like really greasy. My hair can get really greasy quite easily. So it says to apply to damp hair, don't rinse, style as desired. Yeah, so um, just styling cream, I guess, for the hair. And it smells kind of... Um, Oh god, what's the word? Not like algae, because that sounds disgusting. Um, but yeah, botanical, as it says on on the uh, on the actual bottle itself. Okay, number fourteen, a bigger one. So reveal your inner radiance. Maybe it could be shower cream, perhaps. If it is, I'm hoping it's rituals. No, not shower cream. Okay, so Ren Clean, Clean Skincare. So this is a gentle cleansing gel. That's quite a big bottle. That is 150 mils. Clean to the skin, it clean to the planet. I like that. Anything that's got a sustainable, uh, or anything that's sustainably sourced, I'm definitely all over. Again, I think that might have, yeah, it's got a cap on it, so you can't tell, but I do like, I wonder if this is for the face or a gentle facial wash, yeah. Okay, what does it say? Gentle facial wash that removes dirt and pollution without harshness. To use a rub on the palm of a slightly damp hand and gently massage over the face and neck for a couple of minutes and rinse off with warm water. Mm. Again, not massively heavily scented, which is good for a face product. I don't really like anything that's heavily scented to go on my face, so I will give this one a go. Okay, right, I think we're up to 50 now. So again, a message, doesn't seem to be a lot in here, just another small one. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, what's this? So, renovate uh, intensive repair, intensive nail repair, clean, cream even. Okay, and some little, uh, what look to be like, yeah, okay, so a little set of um, boards to use on your nails as well, which I would definitely use. So, we've got, let's have a look, one for refine. So, let's have a look with mine. Let's just destroy the pretty little package that it comes in. So we have Refine here, if you can get it off. No, you can't. You have to just turn it over and shine. So Refine and shine. So number 16, I'm hoping the lighting is not failing me now because the sun is starting to go down. Have a look, 16, no messaging on the box to give me a clue. Okay, so it's another Philip Kingsley moisture, moisture Balancing Combination Shampoo. So that will go with, yeah, I guess with conditioner. So you've got one shampoo, one condi conditioner. Um, so yeah, I thought they would have put this one earlier on actually, but there we go. Okay, number 17. Oh, and another Philip Kingsley. Okay, this looks to be like I've got two of the same. Yeah. Oh no, this one actually it's a different one. So this one was the one that I have just pulled out. I think they're both <laughs> the same. So yeah, shampoo and the conditioner. So these are the moisture balancing ones, which makes me think that if this is elastic booster then perhaps this is a range on its own unless there's another one of these that's got the shampoo in there so what are we up to now number 18 sweet scented hands incoming so i think we know that this is going to be hand cream okay box within a box 
Fleur de Cerisier or Cherry Blossom. And that's from Lusitane. So again, we're getting some quite good brands in this package, in this advent calendar. So they're not skimping, which is great. So maybe it is worth that 300 and 40 pounds they're talking about. Okay, so that's really, really pretty actually. Really nice. Um, let's see. It's not massively packing a punch in terms of scented, but let's have a look. I uh, can't really put that on that now. Let's have a look. Can I have this hand? So, goes on quite nicely and easy. It might take a little while to sink in though, looking at this. So yeah, it's really light scent. It's not overpowering at all, which you don't really want too much in a hand scent, I don't think, um, but that's just personal preference, I guess. But yeah, that smells lovely. Really like that. Excuse me. And at number 19, something small. Okay, what's this? So this is, oh, it's a pawpaw. So I think this is gonna be, overnight lip mask which is great because i have to wear i have to put like vaseline and stuff on my lips every night because my lips really dry out during the night so that is going to be perfect for me because i have actually nearly run out of my other vaseline one so that for me is brilliant and it says it is 99 percent natural so even better don't know whether it smells or anything probably not no i can't really smell much for that Okay, 20. Okay, looks like it could be another nail varnish. Yep, in your classic red nail varnish. Here from Nails Inc. again, is it? Yep. Uh, doesn't tell me what shade, I can't really see because it's so dark. But yeah. Yep, no. Now varnish. So again, now we have red and gold, so very, very festive. Um, what are we on next? 21. Oh, I lied, there is 25 boxes. 21. Oh, this one's heavy. Okay, so fresh, so clean. So let's see what we have in here. This one feels really heavy. Oh, okay. So this is a ver ver vervain. This shower gel, which you can never do have too many shower gels, but this is the one that we've got in here. I have, I think, got a really small bottle of this one, and this one is how many? How big is this one? 250 mils. Yeah, it's very kind of limey. If you've ever had one of these before, it does smell kind of citrusy, limey. So that's nice. I would definitely use that. Have no fear. And 22. Oh, okay, this one's covered up. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Mediate, meditate Apothecary. So, fragrance with black pepper, mandarin, cypress, cedarwood. So, this is another hand cream. This is an MS one here. Um, so, let's see. Oh, it's got the cap on it, but. You can get a faint smell of it, but to be honest, the, the darker scenting ones, so like where it's got black pepper on there and cypress wood, they're not really my favourites. I have to admit, I prefer when it's a nail, uh, when it's a hand cream um, and other scents, I tend to go for more floral and fruity ones. So this one is like, kind of like a musky one, I would guess. Okay, number 23, so enjoy a moment of clarity. Face mask, something like that maybe, I don't know. No, it's a bottle of something. And what have we got here? So it's another one of their range. This is the Apothecary Revive with parsley seed oil, kaolin clay prickly pear extract and chamomile so this is a deep cleansing clay mask again another one from the m s range 
so I've not really tried too many M&S range um, beauty products to be honest maybe I can give this one a go now but my skin is very sensitive so I have to be really careful about what I put on it okay number 24 reawaken your skin okay so this is Origins Ginseng Energising Gel Cream with Caffeine. God knows my skin could probably do with a lift, but like I said, I have to be really careful in terms of what I put on my skin because it's quite sensitive. See, this one's not sealed, but oh, it does smell quite nice actually. I can't put my finger on what the smell is, but that is quite nice and definitely, you know, I'll give it a go. And then at number 25, let the good times roll. Okay, what is this? Benefit, uh, okay, roller lash. Ooh, okay. So mascara. Yeah, oh, and I really like a brush like that as well. I've got one that I'm wearing at the moment, which is the L'Oreal Telescopic. And this has got a slight curve to the brush. That's bringing that up. So yeah, obviously I'm not gonna smell it, just smells like, <laughs> I said I'm not gonna smell it and then I smelt it anyway. Just smells like normal um, mascara to me. So that's in definitely a very black color, but I love the packaging on this one. And that is it. We have the 25 products that all come in this little case here if you are wondering they do have on the packaging on the outside all of the ingredients and what's in each one but obviously i didn't want to open that up and ruin the surprise for myself so all in all i think there are probably quite a few things in here that i will use um and uh, yeah i think it's a pretty good haul if you like in the box so if you are looking to go and get um, an MNS one, I definitely wouldn't spend the 340 quid on it that it says it comes up at, funnily enough, when you ring it through the till. Um, but I think if you are looking to be a little bit savvy with your Christmas gifts and just want to give away little bits here and there, um, then now you know what's in it and you can do that. Um, and for £45, I think that's pretty good value for me. So yeah, I think there might be some bits that I will give away that I know I'm not going to use because I'm not about throwing things away if I'm not going to use them. I would rather let somebody else have good use of them. So that is it for now. And I will finish this video before the light completely fails me. But I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.